The Edelbrock E4 Supercharger for 2011 to 2014 Mustangs stands apart from other superchargers on the market in that the supercharger sits low in the engine valley. This arrangement allows longer, generously curved intake runners to increase flow and torque. The Stage 1 kit includes everything needed to supercharge your Mustang, including an OBD2 tuner, fuel injectors, plumbing, hardware, and even the required drill bit and metric bottoming tap. Installation is extremely straightforward and doesn't require any major permanent modifications to your Mustang. Edelbrock provides an OBD2 tuning tool. The Stage 1 kit is 50 state legal with the provided tune. The supercharger takes the place of the naturally aspirated intake manifold, which simplifies installation and eliminates the need to move things around on the front of the engine to accommodate a supercharger. The front mount heat exchanger fits between the factory bumper and ensures the boosted air is chilled before being forced into the Coyote engine. The included instructions are thorough and clear and Edelbrock includes everything you need to get the job done. The Edelbrock E4 Supercharger uses the factory accessory belt routing on the front of the engine so clearance between the engine and radiator is unaffected. The final result is beautifully packaged. It almost looks factory. Our test drive confirmed the Edelbrock E4 supercharged Mustang was making a lot more power. But to find out how much, we put the Mustang on the chassis dyno at Boost Attics in Gallatin, Tennessee. Our baseline was the stock engine with hooker 1 and 3 quarter inch long tube headers and a 3 inch exhaust system. It made 366 horsepower and 349 pound feet of torque on Boost Attics Mustang dynamometer. Not too shabby for an otherwise stock engine, right down to the paper air filter. Now it was time to see how the Coyote liked some boost. Short answer, it loved it. A modest 7 PSI of maximum boost netted us 452 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque to the wheels. That's a massive 86 horsepower and 66 pound-feet of torque improvement over the baseline. The force-fed Coyote never makes less than 350 pound-feet from 2800 RPM to redline. That's what we call a fat torque curve. While we expected solid gains, what we didn't expect was the boost curve. Rather than starting strong and running out of steam like other roots blowers, the Edelbrock's Eaton 2300 TVS rotors build boost as the revs climb, starting out at a little under 5 psi and finishing at 7 psi. This extends the torque curve and enhances top end power. We're now approaching the limit of the factory connecting rods, so we're looking forward to coming back to Boost Addicts armed with a built short block and a smaller blower pulley. We were extremely impressed with the fit, finish, thoughtfulness of installation, and performance of the Edelbrock E4 supercharger system on this mostly stock 2012 Mustang GT. We didn't have to cut any wires, relocate any major components, or make any other serious permanent modifications to this Coyote equipped Mustang GT. And the car drives just like stock until you get deep into the throttle. And when you do, the results are well worth the effort.